top 10 fastest cars in the world. There are many reasons why people enjoy driving. Some people find it relaxing. Some people like feeling the power of the car underneath their feet. And some people just like to go fast. Speed is fun. That's an absolute fact. It's amazing to blaze down the highway with nothing but the open road in front of you. But how would it feel to step out of your sedan for a day and climb into some of the world's fastest cars? You probably wouldn't be able to contain yourself. People are always looking for a faster car. Automakers have done everything possible to try and boost the horsepower and top speed. As a result, we've seen some seriously impressive cars be produced, especially in the past few years. There's a constant competition going on to see who can be the fastest, which means even these super speeders may be overshadowed by something new in the near future. Here are the fastest production cars in the world currently. You can spend some time daydreaming about which ones you'd like to take for a spin. If you have a budget where you can easily spend six figures on a car, then any one of these 10 fastest cars in the world will be a great choice. Number 10. Aston Martin 177 with 220 miles per hour. The engineers at Aston Martin reached deep into their hearts to give this car a spot on the fastest ever list. It's the fastest and most dynamic Aston Martin created. It packs a 7.3 liters V12 with 750 horsepower and 800 pounds per foot of torque. That makes it a perfect fit for James Bond. Only 77 cars were made, which earned the car its name. As with any Aston Martin, the vehicle simply looks stunning. More attractive than many of the cars on this list, it can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 3 seconds. Plus, movie fans will love Steve Bond quotes out wherever they drive. It's the car that gets both looks in speed. Number 9, Pagani Quara, 230 miles per hour. Take note, Pagani has stormed the hypercar market in an incredibly short amount of time. Not only do the cars look great, check out the sweet lines on the back, but they perform even better. That's all a car junkie could ever want. Right? That and they're pretty exclusive. You need at least $1,300,000 to get one of these bad boys. While the Huara isn't the fastest car out there, it makes up for it in acceleration. The twin-turbo V12 6-liter engine puts out 730 horsepower. No wonder the guys from Top Gear were so impressed. It will have your passenger glued to the back of the seat with its quickness. Number 8. Zenvo ST1, 233 miles per hour. The Danish made Zenvo is a testament to what a few people can make when they come together. Introduced in 2009, it's the company's first supercar. This one is one the list even though it gets a little bit of bad press. Okay, a lot of bad press. On its appearances on Top Gear, it had a series of accidents during filming and was thus bashed pretty harshly by the hosts. Car guys tend to trust the hosts pretty highly, and it can be tough to get past a critical public review like that. Still, it has a 6.8 liters V8 that generates 1,104 horsepower and 1,050 pounds to foot of torque, and it can reach 0 to 200 miles per hour in just shy of 9 seconds. For about $770,000. You can get all of this and cool features like keyless entry and an adjustable steering wheel. It's another one that that is tough to come by. Number 7. McLaren F1, 241 miles per hour. This car is almost a quarter century old, and it's still squeezed into this top 10 list. That means at the time it was made, it was worlds above the competition, believe it or not. It has an interesting seat configuration that can fit three people. The driver's seat is in the center of the car, with two rear seats in the back. Sitting in the center may take some getting used to. Under the hood is a 6.1 liters BMW M V12 engine that puts out 670 horsepower and 520 pounds to foot of torque. In case that seems low compared to the others, keep in mind that the fastest version of the new Mustang makes 444 horsepower, so 600. 70 is still crazy fast, even if it's not in the thousands. The car can accelerate from 0 to 60 in just over 3 seconds. F1s are known for their unique aerodynamic features, and their limited release.